In this video we're going to take a look at World Docs bookmarks. I'm going to explain to you what they are exactly, where you can locate bookmarks, how to create bookmarks, and then how to manage the bookmarks within the World Docs environment. A bookmark is a shortcut to either a favorite file list, a specific client matter folder within your World Docs system, or a saved search that you routinely run. In the top portion of the screen in the bookmark bar you see that bookmarks can take on the appearance of a folder, a yellow folder, when you're going to a folder location, a set of binoculars with a green arrow just below when the bookmark is a saved search, and then finally the favorite files bookmark may take on the appearance of the application icon as you see with favorite files Excel and favorite files for Microsoft Word. The bookmark bar then are one-click access buttons. In the navigation pane found on the left hand side of the World Docs window, we have the bookmark section. Now in this area, your bookmarks are represented by links. Organizationally, at the top of the list we see our favorite files, and if I expand that list out, you'll see a one-click link for favorite files Excel and Word. If I expand out folders, represented by the yellow file folder, you see all of our folder locations, and then finally at the bottom searches are all of our saved searches. Bookmarks can be created a number of ways. We're going to first take a look at creating a favorite files bookmark. If I go up to the top of the screen into the menu bar and click on bookmarks, I choose create. I'm going to create a favorite files bookmark. Click on OK. The favorite file bookmark I'd like to create then are my Adobe Acrobat files. Select it. Click on the green check mark. You can give it any name or just choose the default. If you would like it to appear in the top portion of the bookmark bar, you'll check this box. If you don't check the box, it will appear within the navigation pane on the left-hand side of the World Docs screen. If you are a World Docs manager, you have the ability to create this bookmark for everyone. Otherwise, you'll be creating this bookmark only on your own machine and you will not see these options. Click on Save, and the bookmark is created right here. To display my favorite Acrobat files, I simply click on that button and the files appear. Next we're going to create a bookmark to a folder location. Now this is very useful when you're working with an old legacy structure and you need to navigate to a legacy folder to then move those documents routinely over to the new into your new client structure. I'm going to begin by navigating over to the profile groups button and then expand out the client file structure, the active branch, to locate the folder that I would like to create the bookmark button for and that would be Mr. Robert A. Keeler and then expand out and double click on general and this is the folder that I'd like to have one click access to so I've navigated to the location the location bar illustrates where I am I then click on the bookmarks add this list okay, I can either again keep the default name or I can change it now for me the client code of 00048 and the matter code of 0010 doesn't mean as much as the actual client name so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to type in Robert Keeler and then general for a general matter. Click on save and I now have a one click access button that will take me directly to that folder. In my next example I'm going to show you how to create a saved search bookmark after you have run the search so I'm going to click on my binoculars and I'm going to use the client files profile search form and I'm going to look specifically for the Acme Manufacturing and their matter general. Click on search. The document is produced and I'm going to be doing quite a bit more work for this client so I'm going to save this as a search. I would immediately go up to bookmarks, add this list now in this instance I'm going to want to delete out the bookmark name because you can see it's rather coded and I'm going to name this Acme Manufacturing General. Now when I click on this bookmark button I want it to immediately perform the search rather than show me a search template with the client and matter code entered in the form. Click on save and I now have my Acme Manufacturing button so I'm just going to reorient my screen showing you my favorite files in Acrobat and then when it's time to bring up my Acme manufacturing documents I would go to this button and click on it 
and they very quickly appear. Finally, we're going to take a look at the management console for bookmarks. You'll go up to bookmarks, choose manage, and here is your list. Now the first tab are all of your bookmarks and the various tabs to the right represent subgroups of the bookmarks on your system. Starting with all, the first column tells you whether the bookmark has been pinned to the bookmark bar, meaning it appears at this top portion of the screen. So Acme Manufacturing is, whereas the City of Mesa Gas Supply is not. The next column tells you whether it's a personal bookmark or there is a global or public bookmark as we see here with the World Docs Globe. So this one would be personal, this one would be public. The next column tells you whether you're looking at a favorite file as represented by these icons for Acrobat, Excel, and Word, a favorite file location, the City of Mesa Gas Supply Matter, or the City of Mesa General Matter, or finally a saved search at the top represented by the binoculars. In the top portion of the management console, you do have the ability to change the sort order of the bookmark buttons within the bookmark bar. I think most useful will be description, which will sort them alphabetically from left to right, or type, which will sort them based on whether they are a favorite, whether they are a saved search, or finally whether they are a favorite folder location within the WorldDoc system. Bookmarks can be added or deleted from the console. Keep in mind though you will only be able to delete your personal bookmarks. You will not be able to delete any public bookmarks that show up within your list. This will conclude your introduction to working with bookmarks in WorldDocs GX3.